Objection free. Number two, how many people here said it sounds pretty normal? Number three, how many people here noticed when your partner said, well, you know how, that your part, when you said, well, you know how to your partner, that your partner began nodding yes uncontrollably? Now, I want you to consider this. When you say, well, you know how, the back of their brain says, well, Right. <laughs> and the program in the back of their mind says this. The program says, if anybody, any word, any time ever says, well, you know how, start nodding your head uncontrollably, agreeing with whatever they say next, even though you don't even know what it's going to be. How many people here notice that with your partner? That's how things work. Number four, how many people here notice that your partner is smiling? Because yeah. the program says, if anybody, anywhere, anytime ever says, well, you know how, start nodding yes uncontrollably, agree with whatever they say next, even though you have no idea what's going to be, and smile and tell them more It gets worse, but we don't have a lot of time here tonight. If you use those four words, they'll never notice, because you use them already by accident. Stand by the coffee machine at work and see if this sounds natural. People will say, well, you know how bad the George Washington Bridge backs up in the morning. Well, you know how they're just not paying us enough. And Well, you know how we show up for work and then they expect us to work also. It's just incredible. <laughs> and well, you know how the coffee's real bad. And well, you know how they blew that game yesterday. And well, you know how the children never listened to us. Have you heard that conversation? Naturally, we know this program exists because when we want somebody to agree with us, we just naturally put, well, you know how in front of it, but we can do it consciously now. So our skeptical prospects will hear the information, get it inside their head, and then they can decide if it's going to serve them or not. See, all ready? Uh -huh. Turn to your partner right now, and you can just do some, well, you know how jobs interfere with the week? <laughs> That's one of my favorite ones. And oh, people say, man, you're a mind creator. And, and well, you know, how are we doing? All right, so turn to your partner right now and just try a couple well you know how. <laughs> now, I'm going to give you one that doesn't quite fall in this category, but I'll show you what, where we want to go in our business. Now, when you and I start, uh, there's only three things we got to do to make this thing rock. And you already have two of them. How many people here think it's pretty cool? Is that pretty good news? Here's the three things we need. Number one, you need a... Good attitude. Not a great attitude, just something above self-sabotage. <laughs> yeah, something above, uh, you wouldn't want to join this pyramid scheme, would you? Nobody else did. <laughs> All right, that wouldn't be good enough. How many people here have a good attitude? Yeah. All right, you totally do. I think that would qualify. Now, everybody, I want you to realize, everybody here in this room has enough attitude. You, haven't, you don't need any more attitude to be rich in this business. Do you feel pretty good about that? Yeah. Now, I'm not saying don't improve your attitude. You know, why not be a better person? But you have sufficient. That's not the rope holding you back. Are we clear? Now, outside this room, when you get with your brother-in-law, well, that, that could be an issue, right? <laughs> but inside this room, everyone here has all the attitude you need to make it. You don't need any better. Number two. The second thing everybody needs in this business and any business is motivation. Now, not super motivated. You don't have to take bullets in the forehead and arrows in the back. <laughs> or, you know, be brave or courageous. All you have to do is be motivated enough to talk to some people. Now, I don't care how good your attitude is. You can levitate right up to the person. But you still have to be motivated to talk to them, right? Mm -hmm. And if they don't have any motivation, a good attitude ain't going to mean anything, is it? My question to you is, how many people here are in this room that are, are motivated? I mean, you're here on a Sunday night. I think that qualifies, doesn't it? So check that one off your list. You have sufficient motivation. Now, could you be more motivated and have some extra caffeine in the morning? Sure. But the point is you have enough now. You need no more to get where you want to be. Now, everybody here in this room, I know I had a pretty good attitude because I apologize for being late. Uh, you don't want to hear the drama, but you're motivated because you stayed here and didn't get upset. <laughs> because we're all leaders, we want to move forward, and I'll make it up to you in a bit. But here's the third thing we need. You need the skills to pull this thing off. Now, do you have skills in your job? No. Yeah. So if you change job, would you take uh, to uh, change careers, would you have to learn a new set of skills? Yes. 
Well, most people know that, but I didn't. So I went a year and 10 months before I learned the skills of this profession. I mean, if you're gonna be a bomb demolition expert tomorrow, don't you think you wanna know red wire, green wire, instead of just saying, I have a good feeling about it? <laughs> Are we on the same page? How many people here learn network marketing skills, the basic 25 skills in, in your school system? How many people here learn the basic 25 skills from your parents? No. How many people here learn the basic 25 skills from your job? No, so when you and I start, we're highly motivated idiots. And we say and do the wrong words, we don't know how to get the information inside their head. And as long as we refuse to learn the skills, we're dead. Or as long as you refuse to have good attitude, you're dead. You need all three legs, right? The only thing I talk about is the skills one, because when I talk to groups like this, everybody has the other two. You don't need it. Anybody here want to see me at peak? Uh, this is it. So <laughs> that's all the motivation you need. So of the three things, which one do you think you're missing? Skills. 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 So these are the kind of skills we need to learn, not how to you know, cut out pictures of a vision board of all the stuff we're never going to have, or how to have a really great attitude to feel better about being a loser, or any of this. We need to have the actual skills of getting the information out our prospects head, getting them started, have them understand what we understand. Are we on this? So how many people here have figured out if you start saying, well, you know how, you're going to rock? Just like that, or most people are gonna rock. But here's the next one. For everybody here, if you have noticed um, that we started off with just a couple words and it made all the difference in the world. If you've noticed that, then you'll probably do almost anything possible to start learning better words to make your business rock instead of saying stupid words that get rejected. I'm gonna show you something, you're not gonna like it. Are you all leaders? Gonna be, you know, not yeah. run me over in the parking lot? Yeah. <laughs> all right, here's the situation. Uh, you and I get started. And uh, let's say I'm your brand new distributor. I have the eye of the tiger, vision of an eagle, 100 dead animal body parts, chanted affirmations, sing the company song, 100 CDs under this arm, 200 DVDs under this arm, samples strapped to my back. I'm gonna go out and talk to 100 people. How many people are proud of me? Yes. Now my question to you is, am I trained or untrained? Untrained. Skilled or unskilled? Unskilled. Uh, am I gonna use trained, skilled sequences of words or simple oral diarrhea? <laughs> How many people here see some bad things in my future? My sponsor is sending me out as human target practice to the man. <laughs> and it's gonna be lethal. So let me show you what happens and once you see this, I will hope that you'll do everything possible to avoid this from continuing on, because it's pretty ugly. You're gonna feel bad about this, I'm gonna tell you right up in front, but we've all done this. So I go out, and I come up to the prospect, I'm nervous, my first prospect of 100 today, I'm gonna to talk to him. <laughs> I'm gonna start with these five words. I want you to tell me the decision that was automatically made in the back of your mind after these five words. Would you do that? Don't write these words down. Just listen and feel. Are you ready? Yes. And when you see this, you will totally understand why this business can be so easy or so miserably hard. Are you ready? Here's the five words. I'm coming up to you, my first prospect, and I'm going to say, <clears throat> would you be interested in? No, what do you mean no? I'm gonna do five words into it. <laughs> well, you're shaking your head no. I'm gonna do five words into it. Are, are these two ladies telling me that after five words, I'm dead meat, I'm roadkill, I'm flat as a pancake, it's over, human cadaver, I just blown off both feet with grenades, I give up and go home, I'm, it's over. Mm -hmm. How many people felt that in the back of your mind, that little skeptic in the background? Yeah, salesman alarm. Those five words trigger what's called the salesman alarm. And the salesman alarm goes like this. As he knows, it goes, whoop, 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 guys, got to die. It shields up, salesman approaching. Run, run, save yourself. Hide your wallet, hide your purse. Get the shoes together. Run, run, run. Whoop, whoop, whoop. And at that moment, it is over. And anything you say past that moment, 
oh, you're a salesman, you're gonna take my money, you're gonna lie to me, you're gonna cheat, and, you know, I need my money to survive, and you know, you gotta harass and follow up, and all this drama's going through their head, they don't hear anything you say. They've already made the decision. How many people have been there? And if I start off my conversation with 100 people a day with those five words, what's my result at the end of the day? How do I feel about your business? Wonderful. <laughs> Nobody lied to, I've been ripped off. Everybody wants to die early and they want to wrinkle as deep as they can and store food in them. And you know, nobody wants any more money and everybody says, no. How many people here get it? How am I going to feel at the end of the day? But don't worry. Even though I'm crushed that night, I listen to a motivational CD. <laughs> And the next day, I go out and talk to 200 more people saying the exact same five words. <clears throat> How many people told me no now in total? 300. 300. After 300 consecutive no's, even if I'm a natural born idiot, I can probably pick up a trend here. I say, I've lost my friends. I walk the other side of the street. They're making fun of me. They're not doing it. I quit. The only way for me to stop the pain is to quit. But I can't quit. No, I can't quit because I had, a, I had a vision. I had a vision to leave my job. I didn't want to die my job and to send my daughter to private school. And I can't quit. I'll give up one more try. And, but I don't know what to change. My sponsor hasn't told me what to say. And worse yet, he hasn't told me what not to say. Send me out there to die. So I don't know what to change. I mean, I've already laminated the flip chart. That didn't make a difference. <laughs> but the video in high definition DVD, nice package. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. Oh, wait a minute. The only thing I haven't changed is my first five words. Now, let me try one more time. Last chance. I'll just give it one try before I just give up. I come up to you. You're, I'm your brother-in-law, and I start my conversation with these five words. Are you ready? Tell me your decision at the end of these five words. I come up to you and I say, I just got involved with. Does that hurt? Too close to home? I was just trying to be careful. I'm, just not... I'm dead. And I'm out of your business forever as your worst enemy saying this is a pyramid deal, doesn't work, it's too expensive, nobody wants this stuff, they stole my money. Bad mouthing you out there every day for the rest of my life. How many people here totally get it when we send people out totally unskilled, unprepared to die and hope a couple come back that may not be the best practices? And judging from the looks of your face, you ain't liking this one bit. But I warned you, didn't I? I warned you that you're not going to like it. But how many people here besides me have done this to people? And it's embarrassing and it's ugly and we hate it. And I can tell from the looks of your faces, you're really upset about this. So, <laughs> would it be okay if I gave you five new words that worked? Sure. And would it be okay if these five words got your prospects to say yes immediately? It would be okay. Yeah. So, and would it be okay if we use these words to avoid rejection? Okay. And would it be okay if we use these words to get people started in the right way so people start saying yes to them? So, would it be okay if we learn these words right now? Yeah. Would it be okay if you write them down? Would it be okay if you ask your partner what they might be? Would it be okay if I just continue saying, would it be okay if until you finally write down, would it be okay if? Yeah. Yeah. Five words. Are we all on this? Mm -hmm. Now there is a stupid, stupid, irrational, messed up, dysfunctional program in the back of the human mind that says this. If anybody anywhere at any time ever says, would it be okay if? Yes, 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 I fly totally there, don't even know what's going to be, but yes. <laughs> For about 97% of the people, the answer is yes. I mean, maybe New York and New Jersey, 96. 3% <laughs> of the people are psychologically damaged, been crushed by society. Leave them alone, we'll talk about them in a moment. Now, but when you say, would it be okay if there's a resonant program in the human mind that says, I have to say yes, unless the request is just so unreasonable. Now, let me give you an example of an unreasonable request. You might say, Big Al, would you share your donuts? All right, cross the line. But as long as it's reasonable, you're in there. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, are you trying to tell me that they're not looking at that 
and, you know, this huge flip chart and data and 44 page research report and my doctor can meet up your doctor and the company founder walks on water when it's frozen and we have the best uh, unilevel breakaway uh, binary, urinary, trinary program and everything. And you say they're not making a decision on that. Yeah, you're right, they're not. They're making a decision on those five words. And you say, that's just insane. And if you're skeptical, I don't blame you. Engineering. I said engineering, right? I'm skeptical too. So uh, how many people here are just a little bit skeptical about that? Right? So for all the skeptics, would it be okay if I gave you some cool examples? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> would it be okay if I give you additional ones besides that one? Yeah. All right? So see how quick the yes decision happens when you say, would it be okay if you had an extra paycheck? Yes. Would it be okay if you had more holidays? Yes. Would it be okay if you never have to commute to work again? Would it be okay if you woke up every morning and sat in your front lawn and waved goodbye to your friends go to work? <laughs> Would it be okay if I did these slower so you could write them down? Would it be okay if you learned to write faster? Would it be okay if you wrote every other one and got your partner to write the other ones? Or would it be okay if you just figure out if you say, would it be okay if the answer is yes, 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 as long as it is reasonable? And you're thinking, Really? Watch this. Every time I see a line at the pizza buffet, I run to the front and I say this. Would it be okay if I slip in here? 97% <laughs> of the people say yes. It's just like that. Now some will say, well, I don't know. And I say, well, most people know I'm in a hurry. <laughs> Really? Well, you know how people from New York are so polite. Huh? Are we on the same page on this one? Yes. So uh, I, I picked on a few products here. Uh, would it be okay if you had so much energy that your children, grandchildren whine, Grandma, Grandma, slow down, I can't keep up. <laughs> would it be okay if you had all natural products in your house so you wouldn't have to worry about your ch grandchildren visiting? Would it be okay if you never got heartburn again? Would it be okay if, uh, I don't know, what are some of the products we have here? Your blood pressure went down. Yeah, would it be okay if your blood pressure went down? Would it be okay if you didn't have to take all those blood pressure medicines for the rest of your life? Would it be okay if you weren't dependent on blood pressure medicines? What's another product? Energy. 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 I did want energy, but how about this one? Would it be okay if you never got tired in the afternoon? Would it be okay if you felt like you're 16 years old all over again, but with better judgment? <laughs> All right. What else we have? Electric power. Electric, electric power. power. Would it be okay if your electric bill was lower? Would it be okay if it was free? Would it be okay if somebody paid the electric bill for you? Would it be okay if you made money every time your neighbors turned on their lights? Would it be okay if you celebrated every time the race went up? What else we have? Weight loss. Weight loss. I know nothing about that. But, uh, <laughs> would it be okay if you lose weight by just changing what you have for breakfast? Would it be okay if you took this magic pill that turned your body into a fat-burning machine? Would it be okay if you lose weight while you sleep? Would it be okay if you lose weight while you eat? Would it be okay if you lose weight while you watch TV? What else do we have? Personalized supplement. Personalized supplement. Would it be okay if you had the perfect supplements for your body? Simple as that. Are we all on the same page? Yeah. Yeah. Now, this is scientifically proven to work by children. <laughs> Children are small people, powerless, no money, get everything they want. Mom, Dad, would it be okay if I stayed at Susie's tomorrow night? Would it be okay if I did my homework on Sunday instead? Would it be okay if we got a Nintendo 13? I heard they're educational. <laughs> You've been played like a drum. So, how many people here totally got it that if you say, would it be okay if your odds of success just skyrocket through the roof? Are y'all ready? Uh -huh. Turn to your partner, and if you can't think what to say, would it be okay if you go first? Let's begin. I'm going to ask you to write these words down uh, on a separate sheet of paper. Are you ready? I'm just going to show you something that's so incredible that you might just be motivated to say, I'm tired of doing stuff the old way. I'm not walking anymore. I'm going to fly. Are you ready? So at the top of the page, write, well, you know how. So turn your partner, look at me right now, and just say, well, you know how. Well, you know how. Right. Now, is, it, is that a good thing to say? All right, now, try underneath it, line two, write most people. 
When you write most people, we're going to use it as an icebreaker, kind of introduce our business through the conversation, but when you do it with most people, it does some specific commands to their mind. Now, below most people, we're going to write five words. What are they? Would it be okay if? And that's not only used as an icebreaker to get along with people, it also could be a close, couldn't it? Now, how many people here have ever done a 45-minute or one-hour presentation with somebody? Uh, PowerPoint? Mm -hmm. Slides? Uh -huh. Videos, uh -huh. testimonials, uh -huh. research reports, graphs, charts, uh, all stuff that's pretty much deadly. All right? I would like you to watch this. Uh, I can't do the exact translation because uh, uh, somebody will report me. Um, so I'll change it just slightly. But I'm in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, two and a half years ago. There's a young lady in the front of the room. And we're learning some icebreakers. By the way, these little phrases we learned so far could be used as icebreakers. Are, are y'all okay with the little phrases we learned so far? All right. Yeah. So we're coming up to break. We learned about 125 of these. Wow. And she was like rocking. You know, I thought, oh, man, she's pretty excited about it. She was very enthusiastic. And right before break, this lady says, she yells out, I'm yes, off. Well, I'm out of my comfort zone. Yikes, you know, I thought I was doing a pretty good job. Why'd she say that, you know? So I'm thinking about it. She apparently thought I didn't hear her, so she said it again louder. So she yells out to the whole group, I'm totally pissed off. I'm thinking, I'm glad to say something. So I said, um, why? Best I could do short notice. So here's what she said. Oh, thanks, Emily. She says, I am totally pissed off because Yesterday, I was on jury duty, 200 people sitting on their hands. Nothing to do. I didn't get a single email. I didn't get a single uh, phone number. I didn't get any prospects. I didn't get any appointments. I didn't uh, get any presentation. I didn't get any customers. I didn't get any distributors. I had this electricity deal to save a couple cents. And you know, they, they all needed, they all used it. I didn't get anything. I didn't know what to say to these people. I didn't know how to get things started. I was kind of embarrassed to even do a presentation, but I didn't even talk to anybody. I didn't know what to say. And if I would have known some of these words, you know, yesterday I could have cleaned up. I'm totally <laughs> off. <laughs> I'm thinking, man, she's mad. So maybe I could wind her up a little bit more. <laughs> so here's what I said to her. Um, slightly different set of words, but same concept. I said, uh, why didn't you say this to him? Something like, well, you know how we all get electric bill? Yeah. Most people like to take a little discount on it. Would it be okay if you took that discount now if I fill out these forms? Sure. Anybody here get it? Do it again slowly. Well, you know how we all get an electric bill? Most people like to save money and take a discount. Would it be okay if you fill out these forms and took your discount? Are the wheels starting to turn? Maybe by the coffee machine tomorrow, you're saying, well, you know how we don't want to be 85 years old standing here at the same dirty coffee cups? Most of us would like to escape. Would it be okay if you escaped with me and we start our own business? Or, well, you know how the dream-sucking vampire boss is taking little bits of our brain out every day, turning us into human zombies? <laughs> Most of us should escape when we still have half a brain left. <laughs> Would it be okay if we sit down with Alex during the coffee break and find out how we can get out of here once and for all? Well, you know how dying early is inconvenient? <laughs> Most people like to live longer. Oh, who should? Would it be okay if you could be healthier by taking these specialized vi vitamins designed for your body? Well, you know how we all like taking good care of our skin? Yeah. Most women would like to make their skin younger while they sleep. Would it be okay if you tried this for 60 days and see if your skin got so young you couldn't buy alcohol anymore?
Well, you know how hard it is to lose weight? Absolutely. Well, most people would like to lose weight by just having this special breakfast shake. Would it be okay if you got a camp for yourself and maybe a pallet load for your mother-in-law? <laughs> just a slight exaggeration for memory purposes, but how many people are starting to see a pattern here? And they've already made a decision, yes, before they've even seen anything. Because the human mind is designed to make decisions before information and facts occur. We've already demonstrated that, right? So we'll learn all about that at another time, another skill. But how many people here are starting to get the idea that maybe we could put a couple of these together and rock? <laughs> Judging from the looks of your face, you're just saying, well, what am I going to do with my presentation? <laughs> <laughs> How am I going to get them sit through 45 minutes of uh, PowerPoint slides? Well, don't. That's their first training session. And they only looked at that if they already made a decision in the first 15 seconds here. Are we on the same page? Mm -hmm. And what's going to happen if you learn how to do your presentation in 15 seconds, could you do this over the phone? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the coffee machine? 15 seconds. You could probably invest that once a day, couldn't you? If you're aggressive, twice? <laughs> and if the answer is yes, you say, well, you know, we'll give you the, you know, the presentation. Then it's your first training session. Really quiet in here. Well, you know how we all came here tonight to make a big jump in our business? Mm -hmm. Most people here know we're not going to make a big jump if we stay doing the same stupid stuff that wipes out 45 minutes of two people's time. Mm -hmm. So would it be okay if we tried these three simple basic baby step, first step phrases to do a presentation just to get a feel about what really happens in the human mind, not with some person in a home office, you know, cut out brochures and stuff like that. Are we all ready? Uh -huh. So turn to your partner, you're going to start with the well you know how, then you're going to use most people. And by the way, these are not the best words for any one of these three steps, but we're just starting. Are you all ready to go? Turn to your partner and say, well you know how, and do the whole thing.